Hey guys, what's up? Assassin here today, and I'm going to show you how to upgrade your PlayStation 4 with the Day 1 patch via USB. You might be asking yourself, why should I update it by USB and not the internet and make life easier? The answer is pretty simple. Uh, if you bought Grand Theft Auto 5, you'll know the problem of mass updating. This is basically because so many people try and download a patch or an update or just something in general from a server and the server will normally overload and crash, meaning that no one gets it or only a certain few. And then everyone else gets basically pushed outside and has to wait until everyone else is fucked off. So to basically counteract this, PlayStation has come up with the idea of you being able to download the patch today and putting on a USB and having it set up for retail release so when you do get it, you can make use of all the features because as Microsoft and Sony have both done, you can't actually use the console until it has had the day one patch. So what we're going to do today is you're going to follow my steps, you're going to have a USB, hopefully like one gigabyte, the actual patch is only like 300 megabytes, I'll put the link in the description below, and then you just have to follow my instructions and you'll have yourself a USB with the patch on and when day comes when it's actually released, you'll be able to update your system immediately without having to have the congestion of the servers. So with all that in mind, if you haven't already skipped the video, because I've probably put something in the beginning to skip all the talk if you're already here for the right reasons. Um, don't forget to give me a like, sub, all that crap. It's always good to have all that. Anyway, let's get straight into the steps. For the first step, all you need to do is plug your USB into the computer and make two subdirectories. The first one being PS4, labeled all in capitals, and then update as the second subdirectory. These all need to be in capitals so you'll be able to put the file in there and it'll be read correctly by the PlayStation itself. For the second step, what you need to do is to head over to the Sony site and download patch 1.5 for the PlayStation. Upon downloading, it'll be about 307 megabytes, and you need to save it as a PS4 update.pup file. These all need to be in capitals so the console can actually read it when it's actually loading up the USB files. The following steps require you to have the PS4 to complete the process. Now that we have everything set up to update the PlayStation 4, what we need to do is plug in the USB into the PlayStation 4 which has the update file on it. From a completely powered off state, you need to hold in the power button for 7 seconds to boot the PlayStation 4 into safe mode. From here you'll be presented with a multiple series of options, but what you need to press is update system software. This will then register the update file on your USB and then proceed to patch the PlayStation 4 with the patch 1.5. It will take roughly about 5 minutes which is actually pretty good for a 300 megabyte update. From here then you'll be proceeded to do a few little uh, system startup because basically it will make the PlayStation 4 do the initial startup where we like what country, what language, just all that general stuff you're used to by now. So there you go guys, a pretty simple way of updating your PlayStation 4 and in a way that you're going to avoid pretty much all the congestion of the servers and allow you to get straight into the action in playing all of your PlayStation 4 games, which for me would be Killzone Shadowfall straight off the bat. So if this video did help you out, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff like I said originally. Uh, all of it actually does help out, it actually promotes my channel a little bit better so you guys can find these videos and it's helpful to everyone. Um, so don't forget to do that, and I'll see you guys later.